In gardening, some years we have to take the good with the bad. With the goal being to limit the bad as much as possible. And each year, as our knowledge base grows, we get better and better at this. That's because we learn far more from our mistakes than we do our successes. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we're all about that learning. And today's episode is all about those gardening mistakes. More specifically, five common mistakes to avoid that you may have made in the past. Hey, time short as it always is, so let's dive in. Getting a tiny seed to eventually grow into a monster veggie producing machine is nothing short of amazing. Yet, it's something that we do every year. And every year we get better and better at doing it because we limit the repeating of mistakes. The first of those, not starting our seeds too early. With the holidays in the past, for people like us, the gardening bug hits hard. But we can't get ahead of ourselves. Lanky, weak, overgrown seedlings are not going to help us this spring. So hold back your plantings until at least four to six weeks before your last spring frost. But just like too early, we can also start our seeds too late. Yes, you can just buy your seedlings and starts from the store, but if your plan is to create your own, you need to observe those defined planting windows to give yourself the best chance of success. Another pitfall to avoid was picking the wrong plants to grow. It's a great rule to only grow what you love to eat, I agree. But, not everything that you love to eat is suitable to grow in your area. Yes, we want to grow our favorites, but we also have to keep in mind what plants are going to thrive in our region. Be smarter with our choices and avoid those past mistakes. When that day finally comes for planting, we need to be more mindful of that spacing. Early on, the plants are quite small and the gaps in between them appear to be very large and very tempting. But with the days getting warmer and longer, your garden is going to grow very quickly at this time of the year. And without adequate spacing, your crops will simply suffer. Don't make this mistake again and observe the spacing rules for each variety right from the beginning. And lastly, the fifth mistake that we're going to avoid in our garden this year is bad watering habits. That means no watering from above no watering in the evening, and eliminate those shallow frequent waterings. Let's train those plant roots to go down and deep right from the start so that we can weather anything that this summer throws at us. Solve these past mistakes and watch your garden explode with production this year. And while you're at it, make sure to check out new episodes of The Garden Quickie. Thanks for watching guys, and hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, make sure to subscribe and click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.